Hey guys, it's me Sue Joy over here. So I'm um, back with another video. So this is going to be a quick one. I'm here at Terminal 21. Uh, you know, Asok Sukhumvit, uh, which is really not, which is really not um, a place which I really like. Because you know, like I said, I've been coming to Thailand on and off for five years now, and you know, it's just that you know. It's all right, you know, there are a lot of tourists and all that, but I've always observed that, you know, whenever I come to, you know, like the downtown locations here in Bangkok, you know, like Sukhumvit and all that, you know, I get a lot of stares, um, you know, like it's just maybe because, you know, I got dark brown skin, you know. Yeah, I mean, like I said, there's a lot of white privilege over here, uh, downtown Bangkok. And, you know, of course, you know, like there's a lot of influx of, um, you know, like Chinese and, you know, like the Koreans and everyone, you know. Um, but, yeah, I mean, like since, you know, I, I always get that kind of um, intimidating environment, you know, like I just took a MRT from, um, you know, from Lat Prao and I just came all the way to Sukhumvit. Man, fuck, I couldn't even sit down inside the MRT Metro, you know, because, you know, I was getting a lot of stares, a lot of hateful stares. So I'm, I'm not quite sure if, I'm not quite sure how tolerant, you know, like, I'm not quite sure if um, Thai people are still used to, um, you know, Indians, you know, especially having different skin tones because not everyone's very fair and all that, you know, like I said, you know, Indian people, you know, we have different skin tones, you know, I don't see many black people over here. So, yeah, I mean, primarily if you're coming downtown and, you know, if you're a person of color, um, yeah, I expect to get a lot of stares and, you know, like sometimes, you know, you get those kind of hateful looks and all that and, you know, fuck, you know, I mean, coming, uh, using the uh, MRT and all that. You know, I just stand. I don't sit down because if I sit down, I get a lot of stares. And, you know, it's not with the smile and all that shit. You know, like some people, they're like kind of shocked, you know, like, um, you know, you know, how, how is this guy, um, you know, able to have this kind of a watch? Or, you know, how am I, you know, wearing, uh, you know, nice shoes and all that shit. So, yeah, I mean, still, I feel Thailand's got a long way to go. Um, when it comes to um, tackling racism, um, I mean, especially in Bangkok, I don't think it's straight up to your face like here in Pattaya, but like there in Pattaya. But it's just that I think the Thai media needs to um, work a bit on this. You know, a lot of awareness needs to be coming around. You know, I still feel like a lot of Thai people, they're not used to Indian people. You know, maybe they're used to, um, maybe, you know, like, cause, you know, for them, it's a different, um, you know, they think differently, you know, maybe just curry and all that shit, you know, but like I said, as an Indian, you know, you know, and of course educated in the U.S. and lived in Europe for so many years of my life, um, yeah, I do get that kind of second class treatment, you know, and it's also happened that sometimes when I go to the shops here in the malls, um, they're not going to entertain me if they want to sell me something or not. So. If you ask me honestly, is there racism in Thailand? Yes, there is. Um, you know, you'll find this in Bangkok and Pattaya. I can't talk about the other locations here in Thailand, but yeah, I mean, like if you're using, um, if you're using the metros and you know walking around, I get a lot of fucking stares. You know, sometimes you know, like those intimidating looks and all that shit. You know, like. Uh, it's just like uh, sometimes if I go to a coffee shop, I open my laptop, I want to work around, you know, and a couple of other people, you know, they, they just can't fucking believe, you know, like, oh, this guy's got a laptop, you know, or some shit like that. So, yeah, I mean, Thailand's got a long way to go, I would say another 10 years for becoming a bit more multiculturalized, like Singapore. So I'm going to cut this video short right now because, you know, this is a public place. Um, you know, I just wanted to express myself. Like I said, I don't like coming out here downtown Sukhumvit and, you know, Asok and all those locations, you know, because like I said, a lot of white privilege, a lot of other, um, you know, I don't see a lot of black people. I don't see a lot of, um, you know, like you get that kind of uh, 
you get that kind of uh, you know what I mean to say that intimidating vibe <laughs> so yeah I want to get the fuck out of here I'll go back to uh, you know uh, to the suburbs of Bangkok that's where I feel a bit better people are a bit more simpler over there I think downtown here I think people are very fake and you know it's just that all materialistic world and all that shit you know um, which I really don't give two flying fucks about it so if you're traveling around in Southeast Asia uh, make sure to check the link down in my dis down in the description below it's an exclusive webinar access invite um, you know and you know if you like watching this video just make sure to like and subscribe to my channel and you know you guys have a great uh, day I'm going to be here for a couple of days and then I'm pushing off somewhere else so um, you know peace out